Ciao. Let's be a simple cop, but people need to know. This isn't going to stop until Pictionary bans the word win. The more TV talk before we do this other thing. Oh my goodness, I forgot. Shelly Brisbane is here with us. I didn't forget Shelly Brisbane was here. She's been here all week. Yeah, no, I forgot to set up the thing because, you know. Leave. Wheel of Stuff is coming up here in a moment. I want to say really quickly, I can't believe we got through a whole day of media talk, though, without me going on and on and on about Ted Lasso. <laughs> Have you watched it? I watched one episode. Oh, what's wrong with you? I didn't like it. <laughs> well, that goes to the question I just asked. What's wrong with you? Okay, did you, did you watch the first episode? Yes. Can I encourage you to watch two more? Because okay. here's the thing. Usually what I say to people is watch three episodes. If you don't like it by the third episode, you're done. This, right. th- you were the first person, the very first person that I have heard say I didn't like it. Because people that I, I figured would not like it are every week going, ah, Ted Lasso's on. It, it, is, <laughs> it is, I can't explain because I had no interest in this show until they showed their first trailer. When they showed the first trailer, I was like, you know, I hate how interested I am in seeing how this goes now. And then, of course, once it, once I watched it, I'm, I'm just completely hooked. But here's the thing. I watched all three episodes in a row. Right. And then by the third episode, yeah, you, you've got me. They've just absolutely, that show just won my heart. I wanted to like it, and yeah. I watched one, and I, I, I really, and I really, that's a problem that it's unfortunate because I hate the idea that a creator has to make a show in such a way that you grab somebody by the hair in the first episode to make them sit down and watch mm-hmm. because of people like me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I've watched shows like that before where people have said, no, you have to watch more. You watch the first episode. And for whatever reason, I didn't stick with it. And I've you know been told that before and, and have been proven, I've had people been proven right to me that, that that's the case. Mm-hmm. So I'm not denying that. I just watched the first episode and I was just like, I don't, I don't get why this guy is doing what he's doing. He's allowing things are happening to him and he's just being a blank slate on which the series is, which the story is being written, writing on. There's one character I liked in the whole first episode. It's like, I can do without it. I'm fine. Oh, see. Okay. I, I can't encourage you enough to watch it. And, and, I'll, and I'll tell you why. It's just good. It just feels okay. good. I mean, and I don't mean it's like a, a good show. It is a good show, I think, but it just feels good. I mean, the characters for the most part are are there for everybody's betterment. And and I know yeah. you, that doesn't show up in the first episode, but I mean it just it, it just that's like I want to work with those people. That's who I want to hang out with. It, are people who are not out to kill each other, out to destroy each other, out to make themselves look better. I mean there's one guy. There's one guy who is absolutely like that. Uh, but, well there has know. to be, otherwise you have no conflict, right? Right, exactly. Exactly. All right. So I mean anyway. that's the kind of a show that that I would would lean toward as opposed to the alternative and i yeah. that's why i said i wanted to i wanted to like it all right for you ken thank you because <laughs> because i honestly expect that maybe it'll change although maybe i've talked okay. it up so much now that you're going to be like wow i got through three <laughs> episodes and i'm not even going to well, be on your show anymore the first step is i'm not resistant to it right Excellent. so there sometimes when you're resistant to something yeah there's no amount of pressure or cajoling from your friends that will change your mind and i'm i'm right. prone to that i'm stubborn but i i was not particularly resistant to it i was just watch i would just watch the first episode i was like it didn't do it for me yeah but yeah i would encourage you to try the other two and then you know and then if you still don't then i would absolutely encourage you to walk away because if you get through three and it doesn't grab you it's never gonna right and so i'm a monster <laughs> I mean, well no 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 it's fine you you gave it you gave it you gave it your best you gave it the the ted lasso try <laughs> I guess is what we could say. Right. So I mentioned earlier this week that a lot's changed since the last time you were on this show. Uh, One of the things is I've added a game at the end of the week. Kind of a game. Uh, It's called Wheel of Stuff. Uh, What happened, and people have heard this before, but I'll tell you and anybody who's listening for the first time, what happened is I went to the uh, app store. I got a decision maker app that looks like a wheel, and then I filled it with a bunch of things, and then we spin the wheel, and I give you the topic that comes up, and you answer are you ready to play our game? I am ready to play our game. Then let us begin. That's it spinning, by the way. Look at that. Huh. All right. <sighs> I thought I took this one off. What's your favorite color? Red. Why? Because I am quite colorblind. Okay. But when I encounter 
something that I like, and this happened. Remember when we went to stores where they had clothing in them? I would go through a store and I would see something I liked. And invariably, the person with me would say, that's bright red. And so I realized I, I loved red. And I, I, it just makes me feel happy. It's vibrant. Interesting. Now, is it, is it uh, help me out, because I didn't realize, first of all, that you were colorblind. Is it the reaction that you get? Is it, what is it that makes you, I mean, that gives you that good feeling if you're not really actually picking up on the color that much? I, I think I am on some level because I can't, it's an identification thing. I feel like it's, it's a liter, it's a color literacy thing. I feel like I can see something and not know what color it is mm -hmm. and that Somehow in the back of my brain, I feel like if I had just studied for the quiz and you showed me four colors, I could tell you what those colors are. I'm not even sure that's true, but that's the way it feels to me. All so right. I can see a color and like it. Like okay. I, I like electric blue, I like, but I like red best. All right. You know, uh, Allison Sheridan picked up the uh, Apple Watch Series 6 product red. Of course she did. You know what she, you know what she said the reason was? No, what? It's red. Ah, she just kept saying exactly like that. But Ken, okay. it's I red. Have a red watch band on my Series Four, so do you really? You know, there you go. See, I yeah. tried to buy a, a, a cheap. Well, I, I, I didn't try to buy. It. I succeeded. I bought a cheap uh, uh, um, band off Amazon that was I did red. The same. Yeah. yeah, and first one I've been dissatisfied with because I've got a few cheap bands from Amazon, but the red it turns out you know whatever color correction they were using on the website, uh, nothing like real life. Spinning the wheel again. I'll tell you, I'm still thinking about getting that Pride band that they did for Nike. Oh, that'd be great. I like that band. That thing is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Worst job you ever had, Shelley Brisbane. Worst job you ever had. Oh, it can be because man. of the people. It could be because of the labor. It could be any number of things. I'm curious what the worst job you ever had was. The worst job I ever had, when I was 16 years old, I was hired by the State Department of Agriculture <laughs> to stand in a grocery store and hand out booklets about how wonderful eggs were. Really? And... Yes. Were eggs, no, in were you in Texas? Yes. Okay. I stood in front of the egg case and I said, hi, uh, this is a book. It's got recipes in it. Eggs are great. You should buy eggs. You should use eggs. You should enjoy eggs. And the reason it was the worst job ever was because speaking to strangers for any reason is difficult for me. And speaking to them in person when I'm 16 years old and when I don't really have strong feelings about the thing that I'm being asked to essentially sell right. uh, was excruciating. And I didn't have the skills to realize that it wasn't for me. And so I just basically did it until they said, yeah, you don't have to come back. All right. Help me out. Did it badly. Help me out. How long did you have the job? About a week. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I did a, I did a telemarketing thing that lasted four <laughs> days one time. <laughs> kind of the same thing. I mean, as far as like just the, oh, this is no, this is no good. So yeah, yeah about a week. Was there something going on in a, like a, like a health thing going on that people weren't eating eggs all of a sudden? I think it might have been in the point when people were concerned about cholesterol. I don't remember specifically. Okay. But, you know, foods go in and out of favor for whatever reason and sure. cholesterol is bad. So don't yeah. eat too many eggs. Remember when bread like, was going to kill us all? Yeah, bread, yeah. coffee, chocolate. Wait, those are all good things. Uh, <laughs> exactly. I like all those things. <laughs> like in Sleeper. You remember that in Sleeper? They were like, yeah, oh, yeah. he comes from a dark time. They thought that uh, <laughs> nicotine and caffeine were bad for us. <laughs> the exact opposite of what we know today. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't help thinking what they needed was a slogan. How, what do you think about this? Texas. <laughs> T-E-G-G-S-A-S, -G -G -S -S, sure. Texas. As long as I don't have to say that. Hi, welcome to Texas. Texas, right. Buy, and then, your, buy your Texas eggs here. Exactly. And then uh, and you sell like one of those things, you know how like people get fancy with their like omelets or fried eggs or something. I hate eggs personally. But, Same. Um, yeah. That's so, <laughs> the other thing. Oh, well then, <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous then that you tried that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no. Eggs are slimy and disgusting, but you should try them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. More for you, less for me. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure the kid's working out, they would say. All right. Uh, spinning the wheel one last time. Not last time, but last time for this show. I took favorite mug off the list, by the way. I think I need to change everything, though. So favorite mug was just sort of like a joke thing that I put on there. Like if anybody ever sees it, it'll be like, oh, that's funny. And then it came up either two or three times. And did people answer? Yeah. Or did yeah. they just sort of... No, they, they totally answered. Some people answered. I actually found the answers uh, fascinating. And one person... No, I don't think he did. Rob Walsh was like, I'm going to tell you about my favorite mug anyway. But we didn't have time. <laughs> this is a question that has come up before. I'm curious what your answer will be. 
the worst meal you ever had. Now, before you before you start, any number of ways you can answer this question. It could be because that was the meal that I heard so and so died, or that was the meal where you know I found a I found a, a whole egg in my burger. Yeah, it just had eggs in it. That was yeah, it. That's it. Ugh, that's terrible. Uh, worst meal you ever had. The only one I can think of, and this was pretty bad, but there probably were worse. I remember going to a restaurant, which I've been to many times before and since, and liked. And I ordered, I think it was tilapia. Mm. And the tilapia, and I was also pretty young at the time. And so I started eating the tilapia and it didn't seem right. Something kind of smelled off about it. Right. And I ate some of it and I finally just said, I can't eat it. It's not good. I don't like it. But I was young enough that it didn't occur to me, oh, the fish could actually be bad. Right. And then when I described what was wrong with it, it had an ammonia smell. And I, uh, oh, that's bad. That's, oh. The fish is bad. Yeah. So I, uh, it's both the worst because it was just terrible and it could have, you know, killed me or at least made my tummy hurt. But also because I felt stupid that I didn't clock that, oh, it's just actually bad fish. You should have taken it back and been angry. And I did not. <laughs> How old were you? I just stopped eating. I don't know. Maybe early 20s. So I was like an adult human. Oh, okay. I, you know. Yeah. Tilapia is one of those fish, too, where you don't really know anything about it until you start eating it. Right. And it doesn't have a lot of flavor beside yeah. whatever you put on it. Yeah. And I think that was why. Like <laughs> That's I actually the reason I love it. But you're right. If you get tilapia right, and right. it's like, oh, this taste. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. It shouldn't That's actually, so uh, shouldn't taste, should it? <laughs> Well, uh, you've played the game well. We have some lovely parting gifts for you. Uh, if you come around to the tilapia agreement later. Eggs. Yeah, tilapia and eggs. Yeah, that's <laughs> the name of my restaurant. Um, and then, of course, as I tell people uh, all the time, uh, you can actually do the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the version where you play along at home. Just go to the App Store. Uh, grab any Decision Maker app you want to. Uh, fill it with crap. And you, too, could be playing Wheel of Stuff. Wheel of Stuff.